Hello everyone. Welcome back to chapter 3 of our Adobe Premiere Pro complete tutorial. In this chapter, we'll focus on adding and animating text to enhance your video projects. We'll also learn how to add background music to create a more immersive experience. Let's dive in. Section 1, Adding and Editing Text. To add text to your project, access the toolbar and click on the Type tool. Then, select the desired location in the program monitor to begin typing your text. For text editing, simply choose the text and right-click to access the edit properties. You can modify the font by clicking on the text boxes and selecting a preferred font, such as the SkyGrays font. To adjust the text size, utilize the slider provided under the text section. Additionally, you can align and transform the text using the options located above. Further customization options, including text fill, stroke, background, and shadow, can be found under the essential graphics settings. Section 2, Creating Professional Text Animation To transform your text into a professional text animation, follow these steps. Access the window menu and select the effects panel. Search for the basic 3D effect within the effects panel. Drag and drop the basic 3D effect onto the text in the timeline. Open the effect controls. Within the basic 3D effect settings, add an empty keyframe for swivel at the text start. Move the playhead further along the timeline and add another keyframe, increasing the swivel value approximately 5 times. Right-click on the second keyframe and choose Ease In for a smoother animation. Repeats for the first keyframe as well, selecting Ease Out. Adjust the velocity of the swivel animation by expanding the swivel tab and modifying the velocities with the playhead. For the next step, you will need to access the effects panel once again. Search for the direction blur effect and drag it onto the text. Open the effect controls to adjust the settings of the direction blur effect. Add a keyframe for blur strength at the text start and increase the value to 50. Change the playhead's position to match the keyframe of the basic 3D effect. Add another keyframe for blur strength. Setting the value to 0. Hey, 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 hey. 
rotate the direction of the effect to 90 degrees. Apply ease in and ease out to both keyframes of the effect. If you wish to modify the animation duration, simply adjust the position of the keyframes. Section 3, Adding an End Animation to the Text To add an end animation to the text, follow these steps. Open the effect controls. Add two keyframes for opacity at the end of the text. Set the opacity value to zero in the last keyframe. Apply ease in and ease out to both keyframes. During the project preview, make sure to pay attention to details and fine tune any necessary adjustments to enhance the overall quality and visual appeal of your video. Section 4, Adding Background Music To include background music in your video, follow these steps. Access the project panel and double-click on the desired music file. Preview the music in the source monitor panel to confirm its suitability. Trim the part of the music you wish to use in the source monitor. Drag and drop the selected music from the project panel onto the timeline. If there is excess music, use the split tool to separate it and delete the unnecessary part. To make audio settings, select audio and go to the effect controls. Utilize the options within the effect controls to customize the audio settings according to your preferences. For a fade-out effect at the end of the music, add two keyframes for audio volume at the music's end. Decrease the level values in the last keyframe to achieve a fade-out animation. Adjust the duration of the fade-out animation by modifying the gap between keyframes. Apply ease in and ease out to both keyframes for a smoother transition. Great job! In Chapter 3 of our Adobe Premiere Pro Complete Tutorial, we explored how to add and animate text, as well as how to add background music to enrich your video. In the next chapter, we'll delve into setting the best export settings for your video in Premiere Pro and how to export it. Stay tuned!